Hello, all of you awesome students. I am one of your counselors down here in the Fishers High School Counseling Office. My name is Mr. Curtis. And what we're doing today is we are going to log on to Naviance and we're going to complete the Career Interest Profiler. And this, our hope for this one is that you guys can answer some questions that are going to hopefully match, again, maybe some of your personality traits to a career that you would enjoy when you leave high school. That way, you know, when we help get you prepared for the real world, you are finding your place in the world and you can do something that you really enjoy because that's what's important. So let's go ahead and get started. Hopefully you are here on your student login screen. Um, so for today, I'm going to be Shiza. She's a tiger. And, you know, your name should appear up there when you log in the top. So once you get logged in, there are lots of ways to get to the career interest profiler. The one way that I'll show you today is if you go to the about me section, and this is a neat section to look at because you're going to do a couple things in here throughout high school. Um, one of them is my assessments. And there are a couple of different things you can do that really help explore who you are as a learner as well as what you would be good at when you graduate high school and what you would do for a future career. So we're doing career interest profiler, which is listed right there. When you click on that, it's going to come up to this screen. So this is a home screen for the career interest profiler. It's going to be pretty easy to do. It's a survey. There are a lot of questions on there. Okay, so don't let that throw you off. It has 180 questions, but these are super easy questions. They won't take you very long to do. Um, and you know, the important thing is that when you do it, you remember there are no right or wrong answers, but this is the more accurate that you answer the questions, the more accurate and better your results are going to be. So um, once you're to this point, you just you're going to click start and I'll show you what that looks like and you're going to answer some questions and at the end you'll be able to view your results and I'll tell you a little bit about yourself and what some future career paths could be. I'm going to click start and then you go through and it's going to have multiple pages and each page is going to ask you questions and it's going to ask you about how would you feel about doing an activity okay or how would you feel about it if you were to and then you finish that sentence and they have different prompts for you and you're either going to answer that as like not sure or dislike all right so it's about 15 pages of questions again they won't take you very long you know about as long as you can read that that statement and then decide whether or not you're going to like it or not um, would be good now if you're sitting here finding yourself thinking about whether or not you would like it and you just don't know then maybe a not sure would be the best bet or if you read that and you're like yeah for sure don't want to do that then you dislike or if you read it and you do think that you would like enjoy doing that, you click like. Okay, so how would I feel about maintaining the grounds of a park? Hmm, I'm gonna say not sure. I think that might be kind of cool, but maybe maybe I don't want to be outdoors that much. Operate a machine on a production line. Yeah, that sounds awesome. Develop a way to better predict the weather. Eh, not so much. So I'm gonna go through and answer all of these questions and try and be as true, you know, answer them as true as I can. Um, and then when I'm done, it will spit out some results. So in this video, I'm not going to go through all 180 questions because I think you'll get pretty bored watching me click some random stuff here. So I'm going to go ahead and pause it now and your teacher can also pause it and give you a chance to finish it. And then when everybody's done, we'll take a look at the results and I'll help you in terms of interpreting those. Good luck and have fun. All right, hopefully you just now finished all 180 questions. And when you are done, you are going to get to a screen that looks like this one where you can view your results. Okay, so we did step one, which is doing the profile questions, or step two, actually, which is doing the profile questions. And now we're going to go on to step three and review our results. Now, you can go back and look at your answers if you want. Um, or if we click on view results, what this does is it gives you a breakdown and kind of ranks these different occupational themes. So these are the occupational themes from um, psychologist John Holland. And what it does is it just it's kind of just matching you and giving you an idea of what kind of career you would pursue. Okay. So the way that she's a tiger answered the question. She's more of a social career type of person. Um, so working with people, communicating with them and teaching them. So you know, being a teacher or being a counselor, things of that nature. And kind of her second top rated one was conventional. Okay, so this is just working with data and details and kind of big picture items, maybe in a business, things along those lines. So it's going to rank these different occupational themes for you. Um, you can kind of see what the lowest one is. Oh man, she's a she's not very artistic. Okay, so zero of those questions um, were answered that involved maybe watching plays and doing reviews and 
acting, things of that. Okay, so you can read about the different um, Holland coded occupational themes, and once you kind of get an idea of the theme that you have for a possible future career, you can view matching careers. And what it does is it gives you an idea of careers that are going to match based on how well you answered those questions and the occupational theme that you rated the highest. So note that the ones that have the blue check mark, those are the ones that are kind of the, your best matches for how you just answered the survey. Okay, um, so it gives you different career options. And what you will also see is that they kind of categorize them in terms of how much preparation after high school you have to do in order to achieve that job. So little or no preparation, some preparation. Oh, and I've got a, good, a bunch of good best fit ones in there with the check mark there. Medium preparation and then considerable preparation and extensive preparation, okay? So, you know, and if you click on the little information, it'll kind of explain it to you in terms of how much education you need or how much overall experience that you would need and that just falls in line with the preparation piece. All right, so here's what we would like for you to do. Once you have your choices, um, we would like for you to just keep track of this on Naviance. So if you're reading through these and you find one that you find interesting, you can go ahead and click it as a favorite. And what it's going to do is it's gonna kind of transfer that over to your favorites list for careers, which you can always come back to and read about a little bit later. So I'm going through and I'm picking some. I'm like, wow, that kind of sounds like a cool job. I'm gonna click it as my favorite. And then if you want to click it, you can also read more about what that job is. Okay, so I just clicked on social and human service assistance. I can see the job description. I can look at wages where, you know, and it gives me wages for the national level, but it also gives me wages for Indiana. Uh, so it's a pretty cool thing to be able to look at. Okay, and you can go through your, go through your different career options and kind of see what's out there. And you know, what we want you to do basically is get an idea of what you're kind of planning for when you leave college so that we can, or when you leave high school, you know, whether it's going on to college or going out into the workforce, you know, down the counseling office, we just want to help you with that and help get you prepared. So go through, um, you know, pick some choices, pick some jobs, and then here in a little bit, you're going to be adding some of those things into your game plan. So have a great day and thank you for participating.